Complaints are pouring into City Hall in Haines City. Residents upset about overly aggressive homeless panhandlers begging for money. As ABC Action News reporter Ryan Race tells us tonight, the city is now forced to act. Their sales pitch varies drastically. Some overly polite, others a bit aggressive. And a few don't even say a word. I don't, I don't particularly ask people for money. Daniel Lutz, who today is perched right outside the Haines City Public Library, just sits and lets his presence do the asking. Well, yeah, it's a given. I mean, look, it says homeless voice on it. With a bucket, it says, give me a dollar. <laughs> These panhandlers are among dozens in the Homeless Voice program who stay at the so-called homeless motel where they use their earnings to pay a minimal rent. But the rules here on asking for money may soon change. Them people bother me every time. Police Chief Rick Sloan read us a handful of complaints they received about panhandlers harassing people. Some saying they followed their family all the way to their car begging for money. They're standing out there. People are trying to go in there with their kids. You know, it's just not fair to the public. The city's new plan will keep panhandlers at least 20 feet away from public buildings and doors, but they can still ask for and collect as much money as they please. Uh, then I won't be at this spot. This panhandler says if that's the case, he would stop coming here since he prefers the prime spot on the steps. Panhandling at this bench would be fine since it's further than 20 feet. Some locals who recognize the problem say it's going to take a more robust approach. Looking at... Uh hiring the homeless people here to help do some work instead of having them panhandling on the streets here. Tonight, the proposed change will go to a vote, possibly putting more restrictions on a growing issue. In Haines City, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.